And we have breaking news out of the world of college basketball where Louisville is expected to hire Nick's assistant head coach, or excuse me, Nick's assistant coach, Kenny Payne, as the next head coach of the Cardinals. He has been an assistant under Tom Thibodeau for the past two seasons there in New York, played his college basketball at Louisville back in the 80s, actually won a national title with them in 1986. His prior coaching experience at the college level came as an assistant with both Oregon and Kentucky. Let's bring in Matt Norlander to talk about this. Uh, Kenny Payne, not too many people know about him nationally. What can you tell us? Sure. So Kenny Payne played on the 1986 national championship winning team for Louisville. He's been a beloved figure in that city forever. Uh, Ironically, he served as an assistant for John Calipari at Kentucky, the rival Kentucky for a long time, and was an incredible assistant, uh, both in coaching and in recruiting there. And then, yes, he has spent the past couple of years with the New York Knicks. This has been buzzed about since Chris Mack uh, and Louisville severed back in January. So uh, it actually had reached a point about five, six days ago where I was talking to a couple sources, and they kind of mused aloud, Amanda. They said, what, what's taking so long here? If, if Kenny Payne's not already been picked as the guy, what's the holdup? So there was a, a little bit of hesitation in recent days over whether or not Kenny Payne was actually going to be the guy. I had one source tell me that Kenny Payne actually didn't even interview uh, in person with Louisville interim AD uh, Josh Herod until you know the past 48 hours or so. And so that happened, it accelerated the process. And now, yes, it just takes, you got to get through the rubber stamping of all this. There will be board approval that comes Thursday, uh, coinciding with the start of the NCAA tournament where Louisville wants to get back to, hopefully under pain. And he will uh, he will also, I had one source point this out to me, uh, just to emphasize it, if you will, uh, if and when Payne becomes the next coach, he'll be the first black head coach of men's basketball at Louisville. And certainly that is a, a significant thing and is something that a, um, a wide portion of that fan base has noticed and waited for for a long time. So uh, many levels and many ways uh, that this hire uh, certainly uh, moves things forward for Louisville's program. So you mentioned he is beloved there, uh, a groundbreaking hire it will be when it does become official there. When it comes to the program, you mentioned mi missing the tournament back-to-back -back years now. Uh, what can we expect moving forward from him? It makes it really interesting, I'll tell you that much. Um, uh, he's he's a, we'll, we'll see what his bona fides are as a head coach, right? We have to, you have to wait and see it. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that Kenny Payne is going to be the next coach at Louisville for 15, 15 years. When Chris Mack got this job four years ago, he was the no-brainer, automatic. Chris Mack's going to Louisville. Everyone knew it. It eventually happened, and look what happened. It all flamed out, right? Louisville still does have forthcoming sanctions from the NCAA because it was on probation, Got caught doing bad stuff again in the FBI scandal. And then even again, under Chris Mack, uh, there were allegations uh, of, you know, level two violations, which is basically why Louisville and Chris Mack agreed to split for $4.8 million. He didn't get his full buyout, but he also wasn't outright fired. So I don't know what the future of Louisville will be next year or the year after that. We should have an answer before we get to the end of 2022, Amanda, about how severe the punishments and the restrictions will be about around Louisville's men's basketball program, barring an outright disaster, I do believe that Kenny Payne will be given more than four years. They would have to go completely sideways because uh, he's going to enter into a program with a ton of potential. When, when Louisville is rolling and it's got no barricades around it and can operate normally, it's a top five job, in my opinion, in the sport. Uh, but we got to get there and it might take a couple of years. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.